Get ready to update again. 403 watts. 405 watts. 410 watts. All right, in this video, we're gonna be testing out the Bouge RV 400 watt solar panel. And this panel, regardless if you wanna use it for an off-grid application, RV, boat, you know, a uh, cabin, whatever you wanna use it for, whole house, you know, you can use it for that. But definitely the one thing that I like about it is they'll ship one solar panel to you at a time. Unlike most manufacturers where they're gonna send a minimum quantity, maybe 10 or 12, just depending on the company. But let's say you have a project that you need less than that. You might need one solar panel for a project. Maybe you put it on top of your golf cart or you might need four or five or something for a small project for your camper or your RV, depending on what the size is or your van. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and stick around for this video. We're gonna go ahead and look at this uh, packaging. As you can see, it comes in cardboard. It has two layers of cardboard. It has foam. It has hard foam on the corners. And uh, my panel came com uh, it was completely fine, no damage. The box on the outside, of course, has some gouges because FedEx and everybody else that delivers now, almost every time they deliver a package, you're going to have some kind of problem with the box because they just don't take care of things like they should. But due to the packaging being so good for this panel, it didn't even matter. The thing was good to go. All right, now we're gonna go outside and check the Bouge RV 400 watt panel. As you can see, I have a little tester here. It's a solar panel multimeter, basically. Basically, this thing's gonna give us the watts, the amps, and the voltage open circuit. So you'll be able to test used panels, new panels, whatever you wanna test with it. We're just doing new panels since I'm doing reviews about 9.36 in the morning. And we have 267 watts coming in. And of course, it's not perfectly blue skies. It's definitely overcast, cloudy conditions. And so that's pretty good for 9.30 in the morning. Now it's up to 282, as you can see. Not doing bad at all. All right, now time to get into the good stuff. 12, about 12.23, 12.30. Got 388 watts coming in. 389. And it's really gonna start kicking up here in a minute. It's already good. I mean, 389 watts for a 400 watt panel, you know, when it's partly cloudy out, that is doing very good. So I'll go ahead and show you the setup. I got it pointing, of course, towards the sun at this moment, kind of moved the panel some. And you can see it's getting uh, the direct sunlight. And it's definitely a good looking panel. I like the all black. De definitely nothing wrong with that. You can have it blend in a lot better with stuff without all the silver on it. Now as you can see, the, the sun is coming out of the clouds. So it's just a little bit of haze near it, but it's pretty much clear skies right for the moment at the sun. So let's see what the uh, max watts are gonna go to now. Right now it's at 394. And I'm pretty sure right here, it's gonna jump up over 400. 398 watts, look at that. So now that it's passed by those clouds and got out of that haze, we're really starting to kick up the watts. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get rid of the update again. 403 watts. I mean, that, that's pretty amazing for a 400 watt panel. And as many times as people overrate their stuff, it's unusual when you find something that's actually gonna meet its rating unless it's very, very expensive or a huge, huge name brand. So 405 watts, 405 watts out of a 400 watt panel. So we're already getting better than 100% efficiency. And this is not under uh, typical testing conditions, of course. I know this ain't a scientific test. This is just me outside testing the thing, cloudy conditions, then sunny, you know, warmer than 410 watts, look at that. I mean, it's just amazing. 410 watts out of a 400 watt panel. I think it's about 75, between 75 and 77 degrees Fahrenheit. And you would normally test solar panels in a factory, I guess, at 70 degrees under uh, like scientific conditions, you know, an established parameter. You're always gonna have it the same temperature, the same distance from your light, as you can see, the sun is going back in the clouds, so the watts are dropping back off. But 334 watts, when you got a little bit of clouds, hey, not bad at all. So what'd you think about that? It went up to 410 watts and not the test conditions that you would use in a factory that they come up with a 400 watt. 
maybe they actually underrate their stuff and maybe it's like you know a 430 watt panel or something maybe that's why it's getting above 400 watts but that's how it should be your stuff should be able to get whatever you rated at out you know in the public you know not just in a, a test in a factory setting so far so good it's passing all my tests i definitely like it so i'm gonna go ahead and show you something else that i did with it i used basically a victron 12 volt inverter an eg4 12 volt lithium battery and a victron 15070 charge controller and I tried to see if I could run my little window AC unit over here all day long off of one solar panel. You know, of course I had the battery already charged up already, but just to see if it will maintain that. And this thing does use more than 400 watts sometimes if you got it on high. So I ran it on low most of the time. So I think most of the day it was using probably 380 uh, uh, watts. This thing was able to maintain with one little battery you know, and run all day. And it could have went into the night some, of course. It's not gonna run all night because the battery I had was not big enough. But if you have a big enough battery bank, couple of these panels and run a mini split or an AC unit and be good to go. You know, it'll run during the day and charge your batteries back. And then at night, run off the battery. You just have to have a battery bank that's big enough. But if you're starting out on a budget, hey, maybe you can just run it during the day. You get you a very small battery and then it'll just maintain the battery all day and run your little unit and keep you cool or keep you warm if you got a mini split and you'll be good to go. There's a lot of different things that this uh, panel can be used for. I mean, it, it's golf carts, off-grid completely, off-grid cabins, you know, RVs, campers, the stuff they're kind of known for and boating. Let's say you're a contractor or something and you have a utility enclosed trailer that you carry around your equipment in and you have to charge batteries and stuff like that. Put your solar panel on the back of your trailer, you know, you can have a whole setup inside your rig and be able to power all your equipment and compressors and everything else, you know, off of one panel. Cause you're not gonna typically in a day use that much power. You know, you might charge your battery packs back. Maybe you run a compressor for a little while, you know, one panel would do it. So a 400 watt panel, you're gonna be good to go for your work all day. I mean, if you're working on a site that doesn't have electricity, you got one panel, one battery and one small inverter you know, you're gonna be good to go and be able to run and not have to run a gas generator. So gas generators, of course, can break, you know, you have to maintain them. You know, you get a lithium battery and some solar, you know, a lot of times once it's up and running, you're not gonna have to mess with it. You know, it's gonna be good to go, especially if you buy something, you know, like Victron inverters, you know, a lithium battery, and then a Bouge RV 400 watt solar panel. All right, so we're gonna go over some of the specs real quick. Of course, these are all black design, which who doesn't like that? I mean, I like the blacked out look myself. Maybe you don't, but I definitely do. It's got the 10 BB design. BB is just bus bars. The more bus bars, the more efficient the panel is gonna be. It's gonna be able to get all the power it can from all the cells more easily. So of course it's gonna work better in all conditions because it's more efficient. So it has the cells that's cut in half, so of course you got a little shading on part of the cell. It's not gonna uh, kill your power on the whole cell. You still be able to get it from half of it. And then it being more efficient with the 10 bus bars, you know, that's gonna make it even better. So some of the specs is 400 watt plus or minus 5%. Uh, the voltage open circuit is 37. The max power voltage VPM is 31. Your max power current is 12.9. Your short circuit current is 13.7. Your solar cell efficiency is 23%. Uh, it has a warranty, 18 month uh, product warranty and a 25 year powertrain warranty. Powertrain, a 25 year power warranty. Man, I said powertrain like I'm doing cars or something. All right, um, the weight of this thing, if you're interested in that, they're 36 pounds. Here, so one guy's gonna be able to move this around pretty easy, it's not, the seven foot long ones either. So the typical questions people are gonna have about this kind of panel is, how much power will a 400 watt solar panel produce on average? So they got it listed on our website, it's typically gonna be about two kilowatt hours a day. And during some of my testing, I got more than two kilowatt hours in a day. They're just calculating basically by five hours. But that just gives you an idea of how many panels you need if you're trying to get a certain amount of power a day. You're gonna get a minimum of five hours depending on where you live, but you know, you typically you're gonna get five good hours of sun a day. 
I calculate six or seven myself because usually that's what you're really gonna get in my location at least. So you might be wondering how fast you can charge a 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium battery with this panel. It's probably gonna take you between three and four hours. I mean, it's a 400 watt panel. Usually that's gonna be about 1.28 uh, kilowatt hours into the battery that's gonna be needed. And you're usually not gonna get right at 400 watts all the time. You know, it's gonna be moving around depending on your weather. So I would say three and a half to four hours. You might be wondering what What's another good reason to get the 400 watt panel from Bouge RV instead of like the a 100 or 200 or 180? Well, the 400 is gonna take up actually less space than if you got two of the 200 watt panels. You know, it's just the way they're kind of built. And if you wanna actually save space and get more power in a smaller space, the 400 watt panels actually be better for you. And the cables on this panel are gonna be about three foot long. So there's gonna be plenty of length to connect to another solar panel that you wanna connect in series. You're not gonna have any problems with that. And they got the IP67 rating. Basically, there's waterproof once they're connected. So nothing in this thing is gonna have any water intrusion that's gonna destroy the panels. And of course, the panel's gonna have pre-drilled mounting holes, so you're gonna be able to mount the thing easily. And it's gonna have the aluminum frame. It's not gonna rust or corrode or anything like that. And the most important thing with this panel is I got a discount code down in the description for 18% off. So you're gonna get free shipping with this panel already. So plus 18% off. So it's gonna be a pretty good deal for what you're getting because it is definitely hard to get a good panel shipped to you one panel at a time or two or three or four or whatever you want because most of the time you're gonna have to get 10 or more on a pallet for most companies to ship to you but Bouge RV has got the packaging down pat now, so your panels will not get messed up or destroyed, and you're gonna be good to go if you buy one or two or whatever you need. You know, you can buy 20 or 30 or 40 of them if you want to. They're typically more for RVs, you know, small off-grid stuff, where you're probably not gonna need as much power, so you'll be able to use less panels, so you need eight or less, you know, why not get one from Bouge RV and try them out? Because typically, a lot of the places that have the one panel stuff at a time. It's not gonna be the highest quality stuff or they're gonna be very small panels like 100 watt or 180, 200, you know, at the most. But these are 400 watts, so you don't have to go to Harbor Freight or Renogy or somewhere to try to get a very small panel. You can go get a 400 watt panel or get three or four of them and go ahead and power your system and get started in solar. And just remember, once you do get started, you know, like everybody else, we all start with something cheap and then you want more and more and more. And if you're looking for a total package, Bouge RV does have that as well. Just go check out the links in the description. And if you like this kind of video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and thanks for watching.